Solar chargers for cell phones. Which is better? For Patriots or Survival Frog? Let's talk about that. Here we go. Yeah. Wow. Well, hey everybody, this is Bill with Live Simple, Live Free. And you know, having a way to be able to charge your cell phone from the power of the sun, no matter where you go, no matter where you are, can, real, can bring real peace of mind. And so I was looking for solar chargers for my cell phone uh, because, you know, there are many uses for that. If the power goes out in the house, then you can charge your cell phone. Um, the last time we had a power outage was in a winter storm when we lived in Pennsylvania and we had, I think, five or six days of no power. And we did fine because we had solar lights like this one pulls apart and charges here. And we had candles and we had heat from our wood stove and that sort of thing. So we did fine. But we, the only way to charge the cell phone was to go out and plug it into the car, which was, it worked, but it was awkward at best. So it's really much better to have some sort of a solar uh device that will charge all of your electronic devices and it's really uh, helpful if it's portable like these are because not only are they great if your power is out but if you're like me I do a lot of adventure outdoor adventure sports where I'm not nowhere near any place where I can plug in if you go camping especially if you do any kind of backpacking or anything like that if you do bicycle touring like I like to do, uh, you may remember our bicycle tour for, in Florida with my son this past Christmas. Sometimes you go into a campsite and there's a place where you can plug in. But sometimes, especially if you go to state parks and stuff like that, there's no place to plug in to charge your phone at night. And especially if, like me, you have several devices on a trip like that. You got your cell phone, you got your GoPro camera. How do you charge these if there's nowhere to plug in? So I started going on a quest to find something that would charge the cell phone. First thing I saw was this, although this is for Patriots. The first one I got did not say for Patriots on here. It was identical to this, but it didn't have the logo on there. And uh, it's got a solar charging panel here on the front. It looked really good, so I bought it. It's got uh, two USB plugs here and also a USB micro right there in the middle where you can plug this into the wall and charge it. So I plugged it into the wall and charged it up and I found that it was a great uh, <clears throat> battery pack to be able to take with you. I could actually get three full cell phone charges out of a charged uh, device here. But what I discovered was that this solar panel up here was basically worthless. I put it in the sun and it didn't do a thing. There's uh, lights on the side here that shows you how charged it is, and they would stay out there all day and wouldn't even move. This was basically worthless. It was great as a soul, as a, uh, a backup battery pack, but it just didn't charge itself in the sun. So then I saw this one, and I thought, well, this is for Patriots. That's a good brand. Maybe this one would work better. So I bought this one. Same thing. I think that for Patriots, just... Uh, called this company and had them put the, their logo on it and it's I've got the same one here it's just got a logo on it now this works great if you're going to be somewhere <clears throat> where you can charge it up and you just need this on the run and you know you can charge it every night or every other night you can get three cell phone charges out of here or a GoPro charge you know three devices it works great but as far as a solar charger like if I'm going to be uh, three days of, of uh, Back country, back uh, backpacking or something like that, this is worthless. So, I 
continued to look and that's when I found this. This is by a company called Survival Frog. Believe it or not, Survival Frog. And <coughs> this is really cool because you snap it open. Now, watch this. It's got four solar panels on here. I thought, aha, now this is going to charge it up. So I bought this and I've been testing it for about a week now. I love this. Um, when I looked at the numbers for this one, it charges, that solar panel actually does charge it up, okay? But it charges at uh, 1.5 watts. At that rate, it literally takes about a week to charge this up. If you're backcountry camping or anything like that, that's worthless. 1.5 watts. This one charges, because of the extra solar panels, this one charges at 5.5 watts. So it charges, you know, four times faster. So when I first got this, I made sure I charged my phone with it a couple of times so it would be empty. And then I put it out in the sun. I put it out in the morning. It wasn't a bright sunny day. The sun was shining, but it was kind of hazy and kind of partly cloudy. And it charged up about 75 or 80% the first day. And then the next day was sunny again. I put it out, and in just like two hours the next day, it was fully charged. <clears throat> so this one really charges. Now here's the thing. Like you can also get three or four device charges like the phone or the GoPro out of this. But if you're out on the road, if you're using it, if you're depending on it, you just keep it charging in the sun, and it's going to be able to keep up with itself. This one would not keep up with itself. Uh, it would run out as you charge your phone. It would run out faster than it would recharge itself. But this one, though, it takes a day and a half to fully charge from empty. If you charge your phone on it and just keep it in the sun, it's going to be able to keep up with itself and perpetually charge itself enough to be able to charge your devices. <clears throat> so this one is far superior, as far as I'm concerned, for a solar uh, charger. Also, it's got these hooks on it, these little carabiners, so you can hook it onto a, the back of a backpack, uh, or like in my case for bicycle touring, I could hook it onto the, the, the luggage that's on the back of my bicycle, so it will be charging all day while I'm, uh, while I'm riding. Also, it's got pretty heavy-duty magnets in here so that you can actually stick it to the side of a car or something like that so that you can get better angle toward the sun to be able to charge this. So, comparing the two. Now this one the from Survival Frog cost $24.95 I believe it was. This one was $64.97. So this one costs about two and a half times as much as this does. Um, but this will charge it and you charge your phone from the, from the sun. This one will not. So, before I got this, the survival frog, Elizabeth and I were using this and it worked great. Like, especially when we would fly. Uh, you know, airports many times have uh, places where you can plug in your phone. But quite frankly, they're not always easily accessible and many times you're fighting other people for the number of plugs. So, if you're sitting in an airport waiting you know, for a, uh, for your flight, you can plug into this. Or if you have a long flight, uh, you know, coast to coast or something like this, you can plug into this while you're on the plane and charge it. So it works great if that's all you need is a, a uh, an extra battery backup for your phone. But if you want to charge it from the sun, this is the one that you need. Oh, by the way, also, this one, both of them actually have a light here as well. I can get it to turn on. You got to hold it three, three seconds. There you go. It's got a, a, a flashlight, and then it's got uh, flash mode and strobe mode. So both of them, you see, both of them have a flashlight. So anyway, this is great if all you need is a backup battery. If you want to charge from the sun, this is the way to do it. This is really cool. I love this thing. And this is 
pretty much waterproof unless you actually get water into right here. Now this also has two USB ports so you can charge two phones at once. It's also got a uh, micro USB so you can also plug this one into the wall to charge it that way. But as long as you don't get water down in there, the rest of it is pretty much waterproof so you can use it in the rain and not worry about it. So I hope that is helpful. Which one is better? I would say this one, but it costs three times as much and it depends on what your use is for. So I will put the links down below for these two so you can uh, go ahead and check those out. Oh, I also wanted to tell you that this light that I showed you, it's got a solar panel on top. And uh, this is also from Survival Frog. And this also has one USB port here so that you can charge your cell phone from this. It also has a, a micro USB so you can plug this into the wall to charge it. Now this one, you can turn it on like this and it's just a flashlight or you can open it up and it becomes a lantern like that. And it also has a flash mode. And <clears throat> this is not as powerful for charging cell phones as this is, but it does charge a cell phone. If you leave it in the sun all day, it'll get enough charge to give you this, this lantern light for maybe four hours at night um, and, to, and to get one cell phone charge from here. So we generally have three or four of these. In fact, we have four of them and I keep them all charged in it, you know, you can alternate them, use one for a few hours and then the other one for a few hours and then put them all back in the sun. So this is also Survival Frog and this is pretty cool as well. Thanks for watching. Live simple, live free. You be blessed.